Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to show you a couple uh, clothing items that I bought for my daughter for Christmas. I also wanted to share with you what I have picked up so far for my family members because maybe it will help you uh, to give your loved ones um, just an idea to get for them as well. Um, I did also uh, I do also have a few um, presents coming to me in the next couple of days so this will be probably a part two of what I got for people because you know I have actually started doing online shopping <laughs> this year um, and I've also started Christmas shopping uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago now which is very early for me because I am not the one to do Christmas shopping in the first week of November like that is not me <laughs> um, but I am pretty satisfied of what I've gotten so far um, I have left to do my husband and my mother I think and that's it I've also um, cut down my shopping because of this pandemic and um, it's just, I'm not in the mood. I'm really not in the mood for this whole, you know, spending thing. I just don't feel, you know, that, you know, what's going on. It, I'm just not into it, you know. Um, so I have cut down my shopping list. I um, don't think I'm going to shop for my little cousins that are in Ontario because they're in Ontario is just a big complete mess. And I'm I'm praying that um, things will look good in the long run of because I think they're in a lockdown now for two weeks. Um, so. I just decided to, you know, cut back on a little bit from extended family members. So, um, so I'm just going to shop for my close family members, my mom and stuff. And so, um, this is the point of the video. So, also, Christmas, Christmas is a is stressing at anyways. Besides, uh, the outside world issues you know because we always fear of not getting the right gift and not getting enough and if there other people are going to like it it just it's like overwhelming in itself during christmas holidays and i'm not the one to really um say that i know how to um deal with stress um I don't know if I've ever talked about it before, but I do have anxiety. I do have depression. Um, I by diagnosed from doctors. I've actually, uh, for the longest time, I went to a uh, therapist to on um, on the internet <laughs> because you can't actually meet people right now. Um, I actually did that over the summer holiday, summer, and um, I kind of talked through my issues. Um, I don't really get open about talking about personal issues, but I mean, if that's something that pe people would like to know about anything like that, depression or anxiety, like how I deal with it, I have some strategies, but I also enjoy talking about my issues. And um, I also enjoy writing things down or scrapbooking, right? Um, but talking uh, things through with, from a to a third person also helps because, you know, sometimes when you're in a relationship and your husband, I'm just giving an example, is the only other person that I see on a regular basis. Now, right now, he's gone to work, but... And so, like, he pretty much wants to keep the peace, right? I mean, he just wants no stress and no drama. So, like, he stays out of the way 
in some situations and that's a good thing too you know because then I don't have to deal with other drama and so it it's not worth sometimes I look for it. Like, I do look for opinions, and I sometimes I am more open opinionated by issues, and I just need it sometimes to let my frustrations or concerns or out in the open to a third person that doesn't know me and has no background and stranger pretty much that you can actually just talk to like I'm doing right now like I'm talking to you guys and you guys don't know me and you know like for some reason that is that helps me sometimes like you know so that's what I did over the summer and that's pretty much the reason why I didn't do a whole lot of videos over the summer holidays um uh, we didn't do much seriously it was just a very um, very quiet um, summer um, and now that the flu it cold season is, is back and we're getting a lot of more cases of COVID in the province now it I can't say my anxiety is getting a bit more intense but I can tell like if we do have another lockdown then I'm just gonna go crazy and just have to figure out some ways to deal with it you know I mean we have been dealing with it for about 10 months now so I just uh, I feel like Christmas is supposed to be a cheerful holiday and so what I have been doing is shopping and that does um, help with my moods right because I just want the best for my daughter and my daughter is my number one priority and so I want to do the shopping because I mean like I just want to keep her safe you know you have to try and keep the loved one safe and not sick and so um yeah so Sorry for rambling for seven minutes. I'll get on with this haul. <laughs> so I, uh, so Maya did go and get her picture taken with Santa. However, they did have a few restrictions of her picture, and I don't think I've ever shown you her pictures done in the past. Um, but um, Santa was there, but she could be six feet apart. And they had a glass in the middle of them, uh, but she was happy. She was, uh, she did wave to him. So there she is right there, sitting by Santa. So you can see the glass right there. So I thought that was cute. And you know what? I just, she missed her Easter Bunny picture back in April. And so... Her birthday is also in April as well, so I mean, I just figured, you know, this later down the road, you know, all these children, that you're gonna have to explain to them like what happened, like, you know, some events that we did before, we didn't do in 2020, right? So this is a year that I will have to explain to her what's going on, right? So, um. This is the dress that she got, she wore, and it's beautiful. It's like soft velvet material. Mm. Or is it sad? I don't know. <laughs> but it's very soft. It's uh, Christmas red. And it's actually from this children's place. It's a five to six size. Um, it. I should have got a six to seven, but mommy didn't know how to size up dresses. Um, it does fit her, but it's a bit snug. But you know, she doesn't wear many dresses. So, I mean, during Christmas, as, as much as she's gonna wear this dress. But uh, it is so beautiful. Look at the red detail. And there's gold in the details as well. It has a ribbon. 
well and it like held on to the right goes around her waist yeah and also it's got like thin frills underneath yeah. so she looks so beautiful and this I can't wait to let her wear it again because she do like to wear dresses she wears dresses all summer sometimes a pair of shorts um yeah so this is the dress. She had black shoes and white tights. And mommy also bought a couple of some Christmas clothes. These are all from the children's place. And I was so happy to get these. It kind of cheered me up, you know, like with everything going on. Um, shopping for my daughter really helps my moods. And, um... You know, you always gotta get the best for them. So this, this, uh, this is a five and six. She is in a small. Can I can't believe it. She's out of her toddler clothes. <laughs> yeah. Um, she's also like she's not even four yet, and um, we have officially ended wearing diapers so she stopped wearing diapers oh my god about a month now now she tells mommy me that she needs to go potty so she does need to help getting on the toilet because it's kind of high for her so she, I just gotta give her a boost and she she pees and she does her poo poo and you know I uh, I'm pretty surprised how fast she did it on her own because I've heard horror stories of potty training and how difficult some parents have it but I did have we did have a little difficulty at the beginning but we solved that issue because um, she had been uh, constipated so we had to give her a, a relaxant to just train her not to hold her poo because that's what she was doing like she'll be playing one minute and then she'd have to cross her legs and hold it like she couldn't go to the bathroom right and when they she when they are in diapers like the diaper would be hard to on her bum and just not give her a space to do it right so she had she's still on the relaxer um right now but she doesn't take it every day um and it has been going smoothly and she knows what to do she's not holding it no more she's out of diapers thank god <laughs> you know um you know that's a 40 bucks a 40 bucks that i saved a month from diapers um and we're still in the process of nighttime training like she can't she has been uh half time part time trained in nighttime too i say that because she usually does ask for water before she goes to bed and um i try to tell her like no no like you're going to sleep i don't want you to pee in the bed right now I do have a mattress protector, so if she does happen to have an accident and not actually going through the the mattress itself, right? So um, she hasn't worn a diaper uh, for night times um, about two weeks now. So um, last night we did have an accident only because she asked for some water because she was really thirsty but the night before that she was dry for the whole night and she sleeps uh, very good from 7 to 7 so I wish I could do that for the life of me <laughs> but I mean like for some reason I can't go to sleep I usually stay up till about 11.30 and then sometimes um, Bosco will have to go to the bathroom and then she has to wake up to go to the bathroom or sometimes she doesn't sometimes she just sleeps through the whole 12 hours which is great but I don't know I think I don't know I just I don't know 
I just stay up and watch Netflix. <laughs> so this is her new PJs for Christmas that she's going to wear on Christmas Eve. Mommy, I'm wearing this. Oh, I'm just showing your clothes. I right, your Christmas PJ pants that has Santa Claus and the gingerbread man yeah. and the bell and the reindeer Rudolph. <laughs> Say hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Out. And these are her big girl underpants. Woohoo! Yeah. So, anyways, a couple of things that mommy bought was also mm. we got this for daddy, and it is no my it yes, is a what is it Sock. a four and one Sock. shave style hydrate and trim groomer. So it has socks and a shaving cream, razors and a razor. So that's the first gift. It was $19.99. So I'm very pleased to get that for him. I also got a couple gifts for Nana. No, we, always. What? Always. This is for Nana from Sephora. No, for me. Owen. Some for Owen. And um, I got her a Lion stuff. A mascara. Is it mascara? No. No, actually, this is the happy birthday little package that they gave me because my birthday was passed, passed back in August. You can see the happy birthday thing. And I just never picked it up. So that's cute. They put it in there. But it's uh, a grip primer and a mascara. Stop it. And so, if you want me to do demos of this, I'll do that in a sec. No, my second video. Okay, get down. Mm. And then I have, I bought an I Love palette, eyeshadow palette. It has seven shades. So, this also a mascara. Um, I never tried any of these products. They're the Blowout Salon Volume Lift Mascara. Now, my mom has very long eyelashes, so they said that this would really give her some volume to them. Also, a lipstick that she has. Uh, the shade is um, Wistful. It in the It brand Pillow Lips Matte High Pigment Moisture Wrapping Lipstick. So she wanted a very um, light, like this color. <laughs> so I got that. For my mama, because she likes wearing makeup. I'm going to open this on another video. So I got to wrap this up. Then I also, um, I'm getting tired. Then I got my cousin a life in color coloring non dated planner. So it's cute choosing joy. It's, it's a coloring book for adults. So I thought that was very fun to do. Um, she likes to draw, so yeah. This is at a little boutique in my city. 
you know, we always have to support local stores because they're not doing so well during this pandemic. And this is the Posh Plush Scarf. And it's very soft. It's like a cream color. So... Mm. That is going to be for my cousin. Put this all back together and I'm finished this. Then I got some Christmas ornaments for people. I have they're so cute. And this one says, A friend is the best gift of all. Can you see that? All right. So I got two of the same one, so two best friends will get this one, one each. And then I got, I got uh, a very special mom, this would be for my mom. So I'm gonna put that together. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm doing this video because then I can sort things through what I got, what I remember the I got for people. <laughs> uh, and then this, another one. You can have it, yeah. Um, just one second. Here you go. Oh, hang on. This would be for my husband to give to his mom, which I had to do because he won't be home for another two weeks. But you know, she likes these kind of things. So. I'm going to put uh, this one in with my mother's stuff. Then I also got this. A nice stand. The night light. We have kitty cat. I also. picked up this for my friend as well. She's a teacher, so I just figured you know. And uh, she lost her cat a few months ago, so I just figured you know that would be really thoughtful. Having a notebook, teachers love notebooks, right? Yeah, so I just you know, got that, and the last bag, I bought these two weeks ago, so it's nice to look for what I got, but, you know, since we had a, um, since October, we had no uh, plastic bags anymore, um, we had a Ben plastic. And so everyone has to bring their own bags, um, and uh, stores won't. Uh, some stores have uh, paper bags, which is great, because I'm the one that actually never remembers to bring bags wherever I go. It's a very bad habit, and I really gotta get, you know, thinking. <laughs> and so I got some clothes for my friends, little ones. So this one's for a girl. This is size four. It's just a turtleneck. 
long sleeve. And the pair of pants, size four as well, for a girl. Got the detailed on the bottom. This is actually from a children's secondhand store for clothes and toys and nursery and stuff. But you also can get um, brand new products, like brand new clothes with the original tags on it. So this one was from Oscotch, size 4, and they have the original tag, which is this one. Uh, scotch and this was nine dollars uh, but at the second hand store which is called too good to be true um, their price is $6.99 which is a good deal so these ones were from John Bullerine size 4 uh, what's the price of them I don't, it doesn't have a price but this was $7.99. Okay. You just gotta look really hard for these good deals. And this is for the little boy, Maya's favorite little best friend. He's two and a half. He's into T, so I just figured to get a size up. Uh, this is size three and from Joe Fresh. And you can see it's $16 with the original tag on it and the too good to be true is $8.99 so that was a good deal she also likes to dress them up in the um, what are these called t-shirts anyway the dress shirt and this one was from children's place 3t $17.95 compared to $8.99. I thought that was really cute. Got a nice hat too. And this is from Jamboreen. 2 to 3 T and it was $4.99. So you can't beat that price at all. So it's just a Salt and pepper hat, I think is what they're called. So, I thought that was cute. So that's what everything I got so far for people for Christmas. Um, I'm gonna have to do another video <laughs> later. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I uh, let me know what if you guys started shopping yet. Um, have you put your Christmas tree up yet? Um, I'm going to put my tree up in the next two weeks when my husband comes home. And um, I'm going to start wrapping gifts. Um, that's the video that's coming up later. So um, I hope you guys enjoy uh, your day and I will see you in my next video. Take care guys.